Guys, hello and welcome to the Librarian TV, TV Network. Today is October 21st, 2024, and we are right here on Front Street. So, I uh, since this morning, I have been uh, really up and down trying to ensure that all of the major breaking news are brought to you. And today, due to that, I'm really, really, really adjusted. So, uh, today will be post will be posted at a particular place to actually bring you uh, the major happenings in the country as to what is unfolding. So if you are following us from any part of the world, I'm Princess KD Kapoor coming to you live. You can like, share and comment on our Facebook and YouTube channel. And guess what? I November 13, 2024, I will be graduating from the African Methodist Episcopal University. So I uh, to all of my guys, to all of my followers, kind of look at my game, and you are invited to that celebration. It is something that's going to be actually remarkable. So keep posted. This part we will, we are getting prepared for graduation, or we are trying to ensure that things are okay. How be it? We'll try to bring you daily happenings. Uh, in regards to major, major happenings in the country. So. Uh, we are aware about the major saga now that is in the country where in lawmakers are fighting among themselves uh, the, in battle speaker you know uh, tomorrow there should be a session and some of the lawmakers has gone against uh, the present speaker of the Republic of Liberia Honorable J. Fonati Kofa and Honorable Kofa too has his blog so as a stand, uh, there have been series of allegations, alleged allegations coming against the speaker that, uh, that they are saying that, oh yes, in the, <laughs> due to this, he should resign. And one of those things that is really baffling many of the citizens, uh, many of the citizens' concern has been the speaker, he is a sedition, and you have CDC lawmakers going against him. You have many of them are saying he should resign, and a lot more things are happening. So this has raised a serious eyebrow, but others are also saying that he is not a real typical sedition, as probably he might claim, or as people are saying, or as you know, the thought might come, you know, over many young people or many citizens in the country. But currently, as we speak, there's an issue uh, relating to the speaker that he is serving as you know, key lawyer for NAFA, for some government institutions like LPRC, NAFA, and many other institutions. At the same time, why our speaker is also serving as consultant to other governmental institutions, and this is really raising serious of our brows. So, uh, these were claims and these were counts that were actually you know, provided by some of the lawmakers. Going? So these were some of the uh, stuff that was actually provided by lawmakers that, oh yes, since uh, he, is, he is a speaker and then he doesn't actually believe or just want to be started with a specific job, definitely, then he, he, he needs to resign and then focus on uh, something else or focus on his private work, but uh, he, his working is actually impeding, you know, the house, especially the lower house. Uh, these, these, these are statements coming from a lawmaker so henceforth he needs to resign if he can't resign definitely they will force him to resign or definitely he will leave from the speakership with a disgrace so these are statements coming from many of the lawmakers on the other hand his supporters are also saying that uh people were paid lawmakers were paid 15 15 000 united states dollars to actually remove the speaker and some of the lawmakers as we speak today uh went to lacc so one of those who is actually chairing that is Representative Luthor Collins from District Number Two, Bapolo County. He went to the Liberal Anti-Corruption Commission, why with the documentation that is stated, and he also went with the money, which is fourteen thousand eight hundred United States dollars that he was given this morning. He was bribed to actually you know do certain things, and there is alleged information that the money. That was actually, you know, given to the lawmakers. These money are from the cover of the uh, Liberal Water and Sewer Corporation, and also from the LPRC. So these are, you know, uh, allegations coming from the uh, block of Fanatic Kofa. So currently, as we speak today, they went to LSC to ensure that yes, indeed, their cause or their claims are well, you know, uh, attended to. But why in the process of recent, we, we had uh, Honorable 
Tewa Gongo, who, who, who once contested as former vice, I mean, as former president, presidential candidate for the Republic of Liberia, he held a press conference and then he was encouraging the LSEC to take prompt action and other government institutions that are responsible for integrity to take action. And if any lawmaker is found guilty, he or she should be penalized and then be prosecuted according to the law. But not wait and see if this will happen. This is like where many things sometimes uh, it seems to be relevant, but at times it, it, it has just been swept under the carpet. People play don't care about it, they don't have time for it. But uh, the former, you know, veteran librarian lawyer and former presidential candidate said that he is optimistic that yes, indeed, the Bokai administration would make this, you know, necessary decision in ensuring that the rightful things are done. And this way is like, so we want to say if you are following us from any part of the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Princess KD Kepo coming to you live. You can like, comment, and share on our Facebook and YouTube channel. So, uh, due to uh, this speaker issue and other things, there was this small little protest today at the grounds of the Capitol building that even led to uh, someone, you know, car actually gotten damaged. But then, uh, the speaker is supposed to, uh, they, are, they are still saying that yes, indeed, Speaker Kofa will remain speaker for the next six years. But then tomorrow is session day, and from information that we have got on election information, Honorable Speaker has about I think, 27 or 29 persons on his block. Why the, uh, why the anti you know, guys, those who are going against Speaker Kofa, has about something like uh, 43, definitely. So it is for the 3 to 29. But then, according to the Liberian Constitution, or according to their standing rule, it says that uh, before a speaker is removed from his or her position, that backlog number should be set into like 48%, or it should be for the 8 members. So out of the 73 representatives, it should be for the 8 members. But if that number doesn't actually reach, what happens is that uh, maybe the 43 members will definitely disrupt or might not come to section and if they don't come to section you have the librarian people job to do so definitely one or two section day if they are not around definitely it will impede on the librarian you know right people's work right things will not actually be done and it will hinder the government so these things happened during the case of honorable Edward snow by then he was speaker for the house of representatives and definitely that led to honorable snow being you know uh, honorable snow you know uh resigning immediately from his position as speaker and also it happened in the days of honorable j alex Stalo uh during the ellen's administration and he also immediately you know resigned so these are things that have been happening but the speaker is still hopeful he had a press conference today and said he is engaging so i uh, from all indication he has just few hours now to the section day if negotiations are not well planned or if things are not well planned definitely it means that Honorable Kofa tomorrow reaches definitely he might be in history. But let's wait and see what will be the action from the guys. And this one says that uh, <laughs> Honorable Kolba also spoke uh, to the press yesterday. And he is saying that he is supporting the speaker. So, uh, whatsoever line the speaker goes in, he will definitely support. But one thing the speaker needs to provide him some resources in order to actually maintain his steel. So, the, uh, yeah, this was just a statement coming from Honorable Koloba. And he said many things, uh, even today at the grounds of the Capitol building, he also, you know, uh, spoke of the press and wherein he pledged his support to the uh, speaker. And MCC uh, City Mayor, the City Mayor of Morovia, Honorable uh, John Safra, speak to the media today and he was the uh, outline reasons why the Morovia Corporation is. Uh, it is the way it is and he said his his, uh, his administration is actually doing well to ensure that things are done when he took over as you know mayor there were a lot of things that was dormant there were a lot of things that was put into place and one of those things that has actually raised an abra in the institution is the theater the mini theater at the city hall is really leaking is damaged and he said yes when he took uh, office and that, that that was just how the place was and they are now trying to ensure that yes in the especially this draft season things will be okay and things will come to normality so that was the, that was the statement coming from honorable Siafa. and cdc uh you know cdc secretary general honorable jefferson tamakoshi he has actually uh has actually you know sent out a caveat to all of cdc lawmakers uh that if they go against honorable 
uh, Jay Fanatic Kofa definitely they uh, yet they, they will definitely send to be explore uh, to, to be expelled from the party or to be suspended. But then people are saying that that statement from uh, the CDC angle is too harsh. In fact, some lawmakers want to leave, so you can this you can really make them to feel that oh this thing is happening or X Y Z. But we are hoping to see what will be the next action. And Martin Colley wrote on his Facebook page saying that. The biggest corruption scandal to hit President Barker administration so far is the 700 fake receipt of gold returnees who returnees were used to uh, sharpen more than 1.5 million between May and July. So this was a statement coming from uh, Martin Colley. And he, Martin Colley also in his statement has been accusing on about Dara Zelon in regards to corruption allegation, how he is actually uh, using public funds and of course that one he, he he's not actually supposed to do such but let's wait and see how actually going to end and what's going to be the reaction from the public so on this note i want to say i uh, thank you for following librarian tv network i'm princess katie Kopo. you can like comment and share on our facebook and youtube channel thank you